what is going on beautiful people welcome back to another video and if you're new here my name is val and welcome to my channel so if you haven't already please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below so god's protection will give you proper direction god's protection will give you proper direction god is so intentional with everything everything right so when he tells you to do something it's because he knows he knows what's best for you he has your best interest at heart right he loves you so of course he's going to protect you he's going to protect you but are you going to be obedient when he tells you to do something are you going to actually listen when he tells you to do something there's a reason why he told you hey take that left don't go straight if you would have went straight there was an accident waiting for you there's a reason why he said take that job and not that job because if you would have went with the other job you would have been miserable okay there's a reason why he told you mm, that person right there you have in your circle don't trust him or you need to cut them off there's a reason why he told you that there's a reason why he told you hey book that flight on this day this specific time this specific hotel like very specific there's a reason why he tells you all these things it's because it's a form of protection his form of protection will give you proper direction you can do your own thing you can act like you know everything right you can say hey no i'm gonna do my own thing right i don't have to listen to you i know it all right and you'll find out you'll find out that you were wrong and what he told you to do was a form of protection and so many of us have moments like that where God spoke to us and he told us not to do something and we go ahead and do it anyway. And we end up finding out like, you were right. <laughs> you were right. I should have listened. Okay. Because he was trying to protect you. He was trying to lead you and guide you in the right direction. Right. So there's so much that he protects us from that we need to be very grateful for. Don't dismiss that voice when that voice is telling you, hey, don't go here, don't do this, don't do that. Even if you don't understand in the moment why he's telling you to do it. Even if you're unsure, even if you don't understand, like, Lord, why are you telling me to go here? Why are you telling me to do this? Why are you saying this and not that? Listen, just do it, okay? Later on, you will find out and everything will make sense. Everything will make sense and you'll realize that he was just looking out for you like a father does he protects you he is your shield okay he is the ultimate protector of all protectors that is the protection that you want you want his protection okay there's no amount of crystals or sage that can protect you from negative energy dark energy you want god's protection when he tells you not to fornicate that is a form of protection when he tells you not to commit adultery, that is a form of protection. When he tells you not to lie, steal, kill, that is a form of protection. When he tells you love your neighbor, that is a form of protection. When he tells you um, do not be deceived, that is a form of protection. Everything he tells you is a form of protection. People follow directions of the world right we follow laws and regulations and directions at school at work we follow um state laws government laws like we follow everything else we follow everything else but god tells you hey don't fornicate hey do not lust after that woman hey don't commit adultery okay hey don't lie don't steal don't do this don't do that right oh that's too much no that that's it's control hey uh love your wife like christ loved the church hey submit to your husband absolutely not i'm not doing that and it's like but you follow everything else right you follow the rules at work you follow the rules at school from the time you were a child you've been following rules rules of your parents right household rules clean your room take the garbage out do this wake up for school pack your lunch do your homework <laughs> sit down get up 
raise your hand to go to the back. Like you follow all these rules throughout your life. And when God tells you, right, hey, don't do this, don't do that, it's a form of protection. He's telling you that because he wants to protect you. He wants to look out for you because he knows what's best for you. He knows if you go against what he tells you, that's going to be your destruction. He's the one that created you. He made you. He's all-knowing, so you can't outsmart him, right? But... When you do things your way, you end up finding out that your way doesn't work. It doesn't work. For many of us, before we came to Christ, we were just, you know, doing our own thing, living in the world, right? Thinking that, you know, we knew it all and I'm just going to live my life and that's just going to be it. And we had an awakening where God spoke to us in some type of way. You know, everybody's testimony is different, but... God spoke to you in a way where you knew it was him. You knew he was calling you. You knew he was telling you, hey, it's time. It is time. I need you to give your life. It's time, right? And now looking back, you're like, man, like if I was still in the world, like I would be lost. Whether he spoke to you in a dream or you heard his voice or maybe you were listening to a sermon or maybe you were worshiping and you felt his presence. However, he spoke to you, right? He eventually said something to you or you felt his presence where you just knew it was him. And you knew he was calling you and telling you that you need to, to come to him, right? You need to hang up your old life. That is a form of protection. That is love, right? Do you know how many people reject him? Do you know how many people hear that voice and they say, I'm not ready, as if they're in control of their own life. Some people say, you know, they just need to live a little bit more, right? I need to live my life. I need to have fun and, you know, I, I just got to live my life. And when I'm older and, you know, when I'm like 75, I'll be ready. You know, I'll be ready to give my life. Listen to that voice because you have no idea what he's going to do with you. You have no idea what he's protecting you from, right? Because he sees before you. So listen to that voice when he is calling you. When I think about my old life, I know for a fact if I was still the old me, man, my mind would be jacked up. Number one, I'll be lost, um, living in fornication. Like, I would be messed up and thinking like, this is just the norm. Like, that's just how my life is supposed to be. I'm just doing everything that everybody else does. Living in fornication. Uh, just doing whatever. Not caring about the consequences. But God had to shake me up. And he got my attention. And he literally put me in a position where I was completely isolated. Completely isolated by myself. And nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. None of that. Just me and him. And I just fully surrendered, like, you got me now. Like, this is it. <laughs> like, okay, you got me. You got me. Took everything. You got my attention. In that moment, I had no idea what was going on. But it wasn't until afterwards I understood that it was a form of protection because of the life that I was living. Okay, he had to yank me out. Yank me out of fornication. Yank me out of that relationship. Yank me out of this friend group. Yank me out, right? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be doing this. No, yank you out, set apart completely, right? So in that moment, you know, I'm angry. I'm like, what is going on? I don't understand. But all along, it was just God protecting me, protecting me from um, heartbreak, protecting me from destruction, leading myself down the wrong path, protecting me from a life of fornication, protecting me from so many things. Sometimes God will get your attention in the most extreme ways, right? Because he knows how each of us operate. He knows how to get our attention in different ways. He knows what to do to get your attention, right? He knows how you are. He knows how you operate. He knows how you think. And he knows how I am. And he knows that, number one, I'm a thinker. I'm very observant. So he got my attention by isolating me, making me 
be alone. And he started revealing things to me and I started putting the pieces of the puzzle together and everything started to make sense, right? Everything started to make sense. And I'm glad I went through what I went through. I'm glad I went through the isolation season. I'm glad he spoke to me the way that he did because I think if he spoke to me in a different way, I probably wouldn't have known that he was trying to speak to me. So he knows you. He knows you. And when he speaks to you, don't ignore that voice. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video.